This is a picture of Esther and I at a dental hygiene meeting at what was then Palm Beach Community College and now is Palm Beach State College in Lake Worth, Florida. I don't know what we were talking about that was so serious, but we were serious. So she had a serious part to her. This was in 2006 and I was honored to receive the Mentor of the Year Award from RDH Magazine and Phillips. And Esther was my one of my guests sitting at my table. And it was just such a pleasure being there with her and having her honor me. I never would have thought I wouldn't be honoring her, that she would be honoring me. This is a little book of dental hygienist rules. And I got this book in 1999, and on September 30th of that year, she writes, For Jane, congratulations for all you're doing for dental hygiene. Thank you for the hospitality at NOVA. Sincerely, Esther Wilkins. Who would have thought I have something with her handwriting? This is another book in my collection by Williams and Wilkins that Esther contributed to, the Dental Hygiene Handbook. And this was my second clinical practice of the dental hygienist. My first, I can't find, and it was an eighth of the size because it was in 1962. This was when I went back to school at what was then Miami-Dade Community College, and now it's Miami-Dade State College of Florida. And I went back to school in the 80s, and this book has been through the mill. I now have the second, the, this is the fourth edition. I now have right through the 12th edition in my library that I use at my studies. And I don't have the heart to throw them away. And Esther would understand that because Esther's apartment had books and papers. She was always editing things for the book, next book. She would ask me to proof one of the books, and if I found an error, I should let her know. And I would say, oh, Esther, I can't tell you there's a mistake. She said, I have to know. I have to make sure it's corrected. And we both learned there isn't a book or a textbook that doesn't have some typo in it. And that's okay. I learned from Esther, it's okay not to know everything, but we have to be honest about it. And my father, who was my other mentor, would have said the same thing. He just said it differently. He would say, no, just remember, nobody knows what's going to come out of your mouth. Only you know. And sometimes you don't even know. So you don't have to say, oh, I made a mistake. And Esther said, if you don't know something, instead of saying just anything, it's better to say, oh, that was a wonderful question. I'll look it up and get back to you. She said, they'll forget they asked it, but you'll still have looked it up and learned something. And there we go again. She believed in our learning. So I learned something from someone I met in Idaho many years ago at a conference that Esther and I spoke at. It was the Idaho National Dental Hygiene Symposium or meeting, annual meeting, and Esther and I were guest speakers. And I met this lady, Myrna Marie Brooks. She was a rep for a company at the time. Now she does this, she makes cards. And when Esther passed away, in the mail, I got this beautiful sympathy card for having lost a dear friend and she had pictures that she found on the internet and put them in the card and they're laminated. And then she took a picture on the back of the Boston Commons. And this card has special meaning to me. I know we're all supposed to dump and get rid of our cards. I can't. I have every thank you note that a student's written me. I have certain special cards that my husband's given me. Those are my memories, and they bring pleasure to me.
And I want all of you to have memories about your profession. Be a periodontal therapist. Work towards independent contracting. Work towards serving the underserved, underprivileged, and the elderly. And we can't do that without the advanced dental hygiene practitioner. So be active, enjoy your activity. You don't have to be physically or publicly active. We can volunteer at different things. We have Give Kids a Smile, we have Special Olympics, we have Mom, Mission of Mercy. Be involved and join your association. Network, meet people that become sisters. I am still friendly with five of my college friends and just reunited by Facebook with my college roommate, my original roommate, who really, how I didn't hate her, I don't know, because she had a photographic memory and would study and go to sleep. And there I was, remember, I said I was on probation. I was up till the next morning studying because I was a very poor test taker. All of these things mean something as you get older. But advancing the profession is one of the most wonderful things we can do. We have to reach more people.